Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and I've got a very exciting product to share with you today. This is the TomTom Multisport GPS Watch. So very, very exciting product because I love my fitness trackers. As you all know, I use a Fitbit Flex myself. So I was extremely interested in taking a look at this. You can see here, you can see your running, cycling and swimming metrics at a glance. Graphical training partner, extra large display, one button control, dedicated bike mount included. So let's take a look inside the packaging and see what we get so in this top section here front and center is the watch itself we we'll take a closer look at that in a short while and in the bottom section we get various uh, connecting cables for charging the watch we get this mount here we get the bike mount and we get the instructions in the bottom of the box so everything we need to get up and running so now let's take a closer look at the watch and you can see this really cool strap. So the reason I'm really liking this strap is purely because they've put a lot of design thought into it. Normally we get straps like this or just a standard sort of watch strap. But this has got a really nice perforated design, not only to allow for adjustment for different sizes of wrist, but also extra sort of ventilation holes along here and this dual tone design, I really do like it a lot. And then if we just open this up, you'll see that this sort of watch module comes out so you can put it in those other mounts like the bike mount I showed you a little bit earlier really nicely designed but the main sort of thing that worries me is there's no real latch to keep this into the the sort of strap body securely so it can pop out quite easily but that said a very nice display the display is a lot brighter in real life than you're seeing here purely because I've got my studio lights on but you can still see it's very very visible uh, but in direct sunlight you do lose that display quite easily you can see there when I'm shining my LED light on it's quite difficult to read at times underneath the display we have got this four-way control this is for going through the different menu options and we can go to the left first of all so if I push left on this display it goes into the status so this is battery storage quick GPS and the version of firmware it's running if I try and go left again it goes back to the, the main time and date if I go right from here then it takes us through to the various activities we can choose so we've got running cycling We've also got swimming, treadmill, stopwatch, and then you can see a little animation popping up from the bottom there, which tells us that we can't go any further down. And then if we want to go into stopwatch, we can push uh, to the right and it says go. So it's ready to actually perform that particular activity. If we go back and back again to the main time, and then if we push down on this screen, we can actually do various settings. So we've got clock, sensors, phone, uh, airplane mode, options, profile and standard setting and again that little animation to show you can't go down any further and when you're at the top it does the same sort of thing to tell you you can't go any further and it does that in all of the menus so again we can't go up any further in that one and then if we go all the way up to the top in this one we can't go up any further in this one so that's it a very quick look at the tom tom multi-sport watch it tracks all of the activities really nicely it does a fantastic job uh, good synchronization as well and it just works beautifully and feels very very comfortable on the wrist so that's it for this quick overview. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please do hit like on it. Please do subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, there are two places you can find the subscribe button. On the main channel page, it's just up here in the top right hand corner. If you're on a video watch page, then you'll find it just underneath the video you've been watching. Click on the subscribe button and that means that you are now subscribed to the Geekanoids channel. But there is one more step you must take. Click on the little cog icon next to the subscribed button. Put a tick in the send me updates box and click save. Job done. Thank you very much for watching again. I'll see you next time.